As I stand here in front of Botticelli's spectacular Primavera, the Uffizi Gallery is undergoing its own spring of sorts with the reopening of the Botticelli rooms. But it's not just Botticelli. Rooms 9 through 15 have been completely renovated, spotlighting masterpieces by Polaiolo, Hugo van der Goes, and Domenico Ghirlandaio. The new setup highlights the cultural and aesthetic connections between the Flemish and Florentine painters of the early Renaissance. Rooms in this portion of the galleries have been revamped to complement those holding work by the early masters, or primitives. The extensive renovation was made possible by a sizable donation from the non-profit foundation Friends of Florence. Raising the full sum required for the new lighting system and layout took just six weeks. We spoke with Simonetta Brandolini Dada, chair of Friends of Florence, about the enthusiastic support that the project received and what it means for the future of the Uffizi. First of all, Botticelli is such an iconic figure. Uh, I must say, when uh, we were asked if we would help with this project, our response, of course, was yes, right away. We were able to raise all of the funding in six weeks, uh, so almost a million dollars, and at that time in euros, it was about 700,000 euros. Uh, and the response was incredible between donors uh, who are on our board and uh, donors who are especially in love with Botticelli and also Polaiolo. Uh, this project actually almost completes, let's say, a pathway through the Uffizi because when we started in 2002, uh, we started with the Loggia dei Lanzi, but then we did the Sala de Niobe. Afterwards, we now have done all of the rooms from the Lippi room, Polaiolo, to this beautiful Botticelli, to the room next door with the Vandagos, and also the Tribune, of course, which was one of our 10th anniversary projects. I think it's very important um, to consider how technological these are. Uh, the, the lighting, uh, the protection of the paintings, the quality of the air, uh, just the general visibility of the paintings is so enhanced that I think visitors will really be uh, impressed, first of all, and also um, delighted that they can finally see the paintings in a way that uh, behooves the actual artist and the paintings themselves. Director of the Uffizi, Ike Schmidt, filled us in on the rationale for the room's new layouts, as well as his vision for their futures. Well, the most significant changes is that uh, the great and famous, uh, most celebrated masterpieces are being used as sorts of magnets. You can see them from the neighboring rooms. Um, the visitors uh, will walk in, and we've seen that actually uh, with our own staff now. They walk into the room. Uh, attracted by these masterpieces and then once they're in the room actually they see that these masterpieces are not alone. Now all the other great masterpieces, uh, which they are in fact, have their own spaces, their own wall space and they command their, their own spaces. Uh, so people uh, who come to visit will learn that it's not just all about the Venus and the Spring by Botticelli, but that uh, we have um, in fact 38 great masterpieces installed in, in these uh, new galleries here um, and uh, people will expect to see two or three masterpieces and they will see 38. Um, moreover, uh, we've put them um, in a visual uh, dialogue uh, through the installation, through the hanging. Uh, people uh, will automatically, even without reading anything, just by looking you can make comparisons with early works by um, Botticelli late works. How did he change uh, from the 1470s to the 1490s, uh, for instance? Or um, similar subjects in different topics, something that um, Abby Warburg was very much interested in, the great scholar who worked a um, 100 years ago uh, on uh, Botticelli. Uh, for instance, to have the figure of the angel in the Annunciation uh, shown arriving um, just in a very, very similar, similar way as uh, Zephyrus does in the painting of Spring. So people will uh, be enticed to make all these connections and then to learn about uh, all these works and to see them um, uh, really as a cultural process, as a uh, process of exchange. We have uh, one room uh, which is dedicated to the exchange between Italy and Northern Europe, especially uh, the um, early Dutch uh, and uh, the early Flemish paintings uh, by uh, Roger van der Beden, um, Memling, Hans Memling, and Hugo van der Goes. So, uh, with these uh, juxtapositions, uh, new meaning is uh, being created, but especially the visitor is activated uh, to do it, and everyone will do it in a different way. That's, uh, it, it, these spaces are now create far more creative spaces than they were before.